Well, then why is it that EPA employees who spend thousands of dollars uh, of EPA taxpayer money on personal expenses can get away with not having to reimburse the agency? Um, Congressman, we've um, been, we're obviously we share your concern about that. The cases that are before us today are cases that were over, for the most part, as, as, um, as uh, Director Sullivan specified, were over a couple of years ago. We feel like we have made progress going forward to identify those cases and address them. Well, the particular individual that expended over $22,000 in international roaming charges uh, while vacationing, and I think we may make that clear, while vacationing abroad, uh, will that employee be required to reimburse the agency? Um, Congressman, I'm glad you brought that particular case up because we are going back and trying to make another effort to recover the costs. From what's, that. what's the challenge? The challenge is going to be to determine which calls, even an employee on vacation may have made work-related uh, contact back to the agency even while they were on vacation. We need to make sure we separate, can separate those out and make a credible claim. Mr. Solomon, could you add any information to that relative to that specific individual? Uh, uh, yes, Mr. Wahlberg. It, the um, individual actually resigned um, before we presented our findings to the agency. And then as a follow-up, the agency preliminarily determined that it was too difficult to decide how, of that 22,000 how many may have been work-related. Recently, though, as Mr. Myberg said, the agency came back to us, I believe, in April uh, last month and said they are taking a second look at it and trying to present a bill to that former employee. 